Remember watching Palantir surge over 400% while sitting on the sidelines? History is repeating itself right now in quantum computing. Rigetti has exploded 637% in just one year, while D-Wave skyrocketed 546% in six months. But these gains pale in comparison to what's coming. The quantum computing market is projected to grow from today's modest $1.9 billion to an astronomical $173 billion by 2040. Here's the shocking reality. The five pure-play quantum companies combined generated just $63 million in revenue last year. To reach those projections, they'll need to grow by over 30% annually for 15 straight years. The question isn't if quantum computing will transform industries. It's whether you'll be positioned to profit when it happens. Your time is valuable, so let's get right into it. I'm not here to waste your time, so here's everything I'll cover in this video. The mind-blowing potential of quantum computing technology and why it's creating investment opportunities similar to early AI. A comprehensive breakdown of each pure-play quantum stock, their technologies, partnerships, and financial health. Why tech giants Microsoft and Google are pouring billions into quantum research. The surprising truth about the quantum ETF that most analysts are missing. And of course, a data-driven strategy to potentially generate Palantir-like returns while managing the extreme risks in this sector. Let's dive right in and discover if quantum computing could be your next breakthrough investment. Quantum computing uses quantum physics principles to process information differently than traditional computers. While conventional computers use bits, zero or one, quantum computers use qubits that exist in multiple states simultaneously through superposition and entanglement. This enables them to solve certain problems exponentially faster than classical systems, particularly in drug discovery, material science, and optimization. The market shows typical boom-bust cycles of emerging technologies, with stocks trading at PS ratios between 120 times 250 times. However, long-term projections suggest a $173 billion market by 2040. Despite over $40 billion in global government investment and continued venture capital flow, significant technical challenges keep most practical applications years away. Ion Q, Ion Q, the trapped Ion Pioneer. Quick summary. IonQ stands as the quantum computing market leader with a substantial $6.7 billion market cap. Founded in 2015 by researchers from the University of Maryland and Duke University, IonQ was the first pure-play quantum hardware company to go public via SPAC merger in 2021. Their trapped ion technology offers distinct advantages over competitors. Financials $43.1 million revenue 2024 plus 95% year-to-date, with analyst projections of $85 million for 2025 and $171 million for 2026. Net loss of $331.6 million, with $363.8 million cash, providing 7-plus years runway. Has initiated a $500 million ATM equity offering. Technology and Partnerships Fort Enterprise System with number AQ36 and 0.5% measurement error. 900 patents from ID Quantique acquisition. Major partnerships include U.S. Air Force, $25.5 million, Department of Defense, $5.7 million, and availability on AWS Azure and Google Cloud. Valuation. IONC trades at 120 times. 140 times. Trailing sales with an average analyst price target of $40.60. The stock has gained 222.5% over the past year, but is down 33.7% year-to-date, highlighting the extreme volatility typical in emerging technology stocks. Looking at the transition from research to commercial applications, IonQ is making genuine progress where many competitors remain theoretical. Their government contracts provide crucial validation and non-dilutive funding, supporting their path to profitability. Rigetti Computing, RGTI the Vertically Integrated Challenger. Quick summary. Founded in 2013 by former IBM quantum researcher Chad Rigetti, this company specializes in superconducting qubits with a vertically integrated model including in-house chip fabrication at their dedicated Fab One facility in California. Their market cap stands at $2.7 billion. Financials, $10.8 million revenue, 2024, negative 10% year-to-date with projected 34.6% growth in 2025. 
$201 million net loss with $217.2 million cash, providing approximately four years runway at current burn rate. Technology and Partnerships 84 Qubit Anka 3 System with 99% 2 Qubit Gate Fidelity Roadmap includes 100 plus Qubit System by end of 2025. Key clients include DARPA, US Department of Energy, and UK's National Quantum Computing Center. Valuation RGTI trades at 151 times, 254 times trailing sales with an average analyst price target of $14.80, $15.00. Performance has been wildly volatile, up 637.1% year over year, but down 43.4% year to date. The vertical integration approach presents both opportunities and challenges. Direct control over chip manufacturing could enable faster innovation, but also creates higher fixed costs and capital expenditure burdens compared to competitors. D-Wave Quantum, QBTS, the annealing pioneer. Quick summary, D-Wave was founded in 1999, making it the oldest quantum computing company. Unlike competitors focused on gate-based quantum computing, D-Wave specializes in quantum annealing with over 5,000 qubits in their advantage system. This distinction has allowed them to develop commercial applications earlier than gate-based competitors. Their market cap is approximately $2.2 billion. Financials $8.8 .8 million revenue with inconsistent growth but bookings up 128% to $24 million. $178 million cash against $18 million annual FCF burn, providing approximately 10 years runway. Technology and Partnerships 5,000-plus Qubit Advantage system for optimization problems. Customer base includes Lockheed Martin, Volkswagen, MasterCard, and 135 businesses using their technology for logistics, AI, and financial modeling. Valuation QBTS trades at 136 times, 224 times trailing sales. The stock has gained 409.5% over the past year, while dropping 17.9% year-to-date. D-Wave distinguishes itself within the pure play landscape through its relatively long operating history and demonstrable list of enterprise clients actively using its systems for practical optimization problems. A commercial traction leader despite technological limitations. Microsoft MSFT The Topological Quantum Moonshot Microsoft is pursuing a high-risk, high-reward approach based on topological qubits, which could potentially offer inherent error protection. They unveiled their Majorana 1 chip with 8 topological qubits and have stated ambitions to potentially fit a million qubits on a chip. Microsoft recently demonstrated 24 entangled logical qubits with Atom Computing, with plans for a commercial system in 2025. Their Azure Quantum platform serves as a hub for quantum resources, offering access to both their hardware and systems from partners including IonQ, Regetti, Atom Computing, and Pascal. Recent collaborations include working with Photonic Inc. on distributed quantum entanglement. Microsoft is also integrating quantum concepts with AI through Azure Quantum Elements. With a $2.9 trillion market cap and nearly $260 billion in annual revenue, Quantum represents just one of many growth initiatives for Microsoft. The stock has gained 8.4% over the past year with dramatically lower volatility than pure plays. Alphabet, Google, the Surface Code Leader, Google's quantum AI division focuses on tackling quantum error correction, head-on using surface codes. Their Willow chip features 105 physical qubits and demonstrated a crucial milestone. Exponential suppression of errors as the surface code size increased, resulting in logical qubits with lifetimes exceeding those of underlying physical qubits. While they achieved remarkable error suppression in simpler repetition codes, nearly 10 billion cycles without error, they encountered an error floor indicating further challenges remain. Google is also exploring the synergy between AI and quantum, collaborating with Quantinuum to use AI for optimizing quantum circuits. With a $2.0 trillion market cap and approximately $346 billion in annual revenue, Alphabet offers stability with quantum exposure, but diluted potential returns compared to pure plays. The stock is down just 1.8% over the past year. The tech giants occupy a unique position in the quantum ecosystem. They are simultaneously major competitors investing heavily in their own quantum hardware. 
and crucial enablers as cloud platform providers for many pure play companies. This dual role creates a complex dynamic worth monitoring. Let's transition to how investors can approach this sector with a data-driven strategy. If you missed Palantir and want to invest in quantum computing, here's my data-driven approach. Portfolio allocation. Limit quantum investments to 5-10% of your portfolio given the extreme volatility. Dollar cost averaging. Invest fixed amounts regularly instead of trying to time these volatile stocks. Strategic diversification. 1-2 pure play leaders for maximum upside potential. Tech giants for stability and reduced risk. Consider small allocation to quantum ETF, QTUM. Critical metrics to monitor. Revenue growth versus projections. Cash runway, ion Q approximately 7 years, Regetti approximately 4 years, D-Wave approximately 10 years. Technological milestones, especially in quantum error correction. Strategic partnerships validating the technology. Time horizon. Prepare for a 5-10 year investment journey with substantial volatility along the way. Quantum computing investments carry substantial risks. 1. Technological uncertainty. Commercial applications may be 5-15 years away, with error correction remaining a significant hurdle. 2. Financial vulnerability. Companies generate minimal revenue while burning millions, with eventual dilution likely. 3. Extreme valuations. PS ratios of 120 times, 250 times leave no room for setbacks. 4. Intense competition from both startups and tech giants with deeper resources. And 5. Potential regulatory restrictions related to national security concerns that could limit market opportunities. If you found value in this deep dive on quantum computing investments, hitting that like button helps more investors discover this research. Your engagement directly influences which emerging technologies I cover next, whether it's neuromorphic computing, advanced materials, or other potential multi-baggers. Subscribe if you want more early analysis on technologies that could become the next Palantir. Quantum computing represents perhaps the ultimate high-risk, high-reward investment opportunity today. Like early Palantir investors, those who position wisely could see extraordinary returns. A disciplined approach with proper position sizing could potentially capture the next tech revolution before mainstream adoption. Don't miss the quantum opportunity.